Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Fathi. I am here today to show you how to porting SNMB protocol to STM32 MCUs. Um, SNMB is a simple network management protocol that was invented in 1988 and uh, is really known to all uh, router protocol and switches. The SNMB protocol uh, was separate to uh, two component SNMB agent and SNMB manager. Our devices will be working as SNMB agent. The only allowed uh, SNMB agent to do is uh, send the trips uh, or send response to the SNMB manager. The other requested are asking from SNMB manager like get request, get next request, get bulk, and set request also. So um, if we have a device working, uh, the most working will be done by SNMB manager. The only thing that be uh, be done by agent is to send uh, traps. Uh, and it will be worked as a synchronized request. I am here today uh, with uh, two sensor. One is BH1750 and uh, the other uh, sensor is SHT4 uh, temperature and humidity as it will, it will be easy for uh, communication will, will be working with uh, as you see um, four bins and it will be easy to working with i2c now let's open stm32 cube ide i choose uh, an stm start a new project with a nuclear board with its default setup or default bin assignment you could see it was the same clock configuration and the clock setting. Was uh, set up two timers for internet for the two uh, sensor that we have and uh, configure the two I2C module for the two sensor. And light web IBE, I choose SNMB enable port, and we could navigate to the code itself. In the main function, we have configured the two sensor and SNMB uh, system contact system name, system location for uh, device configuration stack on SNMB. I have uh, SNMB uh, MIB2 also. So we have configured uh, SNMIB with the two LMIB2 and parameter MIB. This is my parameter that is considering with us the temperature, humidity, and the LUX sensor. Then we have initialized our uh, two sensor with a timer based start enable for um, starting fetch or getting the value. In initialization tab, we have SNMB MIP system uh, contact uh, initialization and the setting. Then uh, we have SNMMB initializing and SNMB uh, will be done through uh, the light web IBE. SNMB uh, is UDB uh, port with uh, 161, I think. In the MIP file, 
we have uh, as we also do uh, get temperature humidity and get looks we have settled value if you want but I I haven't uh, a manager that uh, could setting uh, the value let's if if anyone have a, um, a software a server that could do setting uh, please uh, write it in the comment uh, toolbox to me uh, we have here uh, creating uh, a node for every uh, element temperature node humidity node looks as uh, uh, illumination um, density measurement the parameter node will gathering the all nodes and uh, this in this node we have also fetching the data from the function itself that we have and we have also get uh, humidity value and also get the lux value setting lid if you want as you can see I will share uh, the code um, uh, on my github uh, in the description area now let's start using BRTG system administration as a system and administration for the SNMB it will be like a monitoring and manager for our STM board so the first thing that I will um, starting my initializing my board and to see if it work the whole parameter will be listed Second thing, we are going to add our devices in the BRTG. The sample thing is to add a device. Now I will go to choose it in my network infrastructure. as it join to our network now I have to uh, search for my IB you could get the IB from light IBE file as it is 190.80.168.4.0 Bring it also to check if the board works. Yes, it worked. And I will copy this IB for server. Maybe we will we'll name it as it is. Okay. As the IB, we could choose any of this icon for your device. Uh, the second thing that you didn't want credential your device, it will be in public as the same board and it will be configured like now when you open your STM32F device you have I have to see some overview about the information that you got is you have the contact information 
the IP address, the location, the object ID as it written in the main file and sitting in the stack. Have here IP and uh, location, all these items. It will it will be noted here. But uh, you couldn't see any sensor here. You have to add the sensor. How to add the sensor? It, it, it will be pretty simple from this overview by adding a sensor here. As you know, you have a custom one. And let's start to configure this custom sensor. I will define it at temperature sensor. I will get it OIDE. Uh, like um, ID for every every parameter do you have here I will copy this ID I will choose as it's Silesius and it's sign integer and I will create it the first temperature sensor is not engaged to start publishing data the temperature now is 31 as it is here 31 Celsius we have here we are starting increasing it but there are a time interval for the SNMB manager that take about 5 minutes from fetching to fetching to see the reflection data here Yes, you could see it 34 degree. Now I will add the other two sensor. Um, the temperature and the humidity using the sensor, but uh, um, it has two parameter, one for temperature and the other for humidity. The same custom, same way I will use to configure the humidity and the looks also humidity sensor and choose your second OID
now we could see the three sensor are showing now let's start the test So this is the logs, it will be like a four. We have here if we try to rise up. As you can see, I will rise up the sensor here. And it will be changed. light and see from the time interval to time how it will be reached to around zero looks as you can see it in uh, the highest uh, value 25 looks will take a while to fetch the second interval time yes around zero now so uh, thank you for watching have a nice day